the young hatchlings scamper about Hilma Baron, finally contained within the coop. However, these young ones will grow up in the coming days, so Hilma must be fast when it comes to earning their favor. For among them may be dangerous carnivores. Who knows? And while I'm sure Hilma would love to rest, that will have to wait. Kia ora, legionnaires. Rikon here, and welcome back to Cataclysm in a wood. We are here with Hilma Baron, just outside of our coop. And yeah, she's dead tired, and it's the morning. It has been an exhausting few days trying to get this coop set up for these little ones here. It's going to be a little bit more difficult with the birds because they're going to hatch anytime soon. I'm pretty sure the chicks aren't going to be able to fly away. But even so, I, I, I think we've got four bird food so we can tame most of the birds. We just need to hope that they don't eat each other. I, I don't think the geese are in danger of eating any of the dinosaurs, but but probably the other way around. Oh, and we've got some harvesting to do in this field as well. There is always so much work, isn't there, Hilma? Yeah, some helping hands would be nice, but earning favor of those up in the cave, uh, it's not something that's gonna happen just yet, but I'm not against having others here. All things for us to think about for the future, but for the present, for right now, we need to try and make our way, while dead tired, out towards this shrubbery here. We've got underbrush there, ferns there. The underbrush is what we are looking for, because that's going to allow us to get some wild vegetables. At least that's, that's the hope. We need a whole heap of wild vegetables. So we are going to have a really good munch, and then we're going to take out Sarah. Yeah, I reckon Sarah because she has the largest bag at the moment. She should be able to ride through all this stuff okay. Ah, uh, she's going to demolish some of the plants in the process. You know what? Let's just drag Gale on out of here to begin with. I think that's going to make it a little bit easier for us. Don't mind the dead puma up there. It's all fine. Oh, did we let go of you? No, we didn't. There we go. Okay. Oh, and yes. <laughs> Let's not forget that we are still being followed by Maple. Uh, Maple is pretty much going to follow us everywhere at this stage. It doesn't have to be that way, though. It, it really doesn't. You know what? <laughs> I'm going to quickly sort that out. Hey, there we are. <laughs> let's go and uh, let's go and grab you, yeah? There. Done. Just like that. Of course, our hands are full. We're carrying the chicken cage. We're climbing down. Hilma slips and falls. And, uh, yeah. We didn't fall as far as we would because we landed on top of the kiln yet again. But it's still not great. An intense pain. <laughs> this is exactly what we needed. The thing is, we're dead tired. We are dead tired. I need to I need to remember this. <laughs> I really do. Ah, oh, man. Okay. All right. We are just going to um, put the cage down here for now. We will release you when we get back. We shouldn't be going up right now. But I'm terrified that they are going to grow up within the next day. Uh, it's going to take a little while longer than that, but still, it's got me, it's got me a frightened. So, we're going to do what we need to. Uh, we're going to have to make some new bandages, aren't we? We're just going to put a poor bandage on our torso for now. I really do need to try and improve our first aid skill. We will be doing this. We certainly will. But first of all, we need to get Sarah on out of here. How are you looking, Sarah? You still have the big bag on you, right? That's good. Okay, we'll just stay there for now. We're going to get ready to head on out. Oh boy. Okay, we are prepared and we are fully armored. Fully armored. We're wearing everything we need to be. The only thing I'm concerned about is our, well, at this stage, our helmet isn't quite working out for us. Rather, having the gambeson hood underneath the chitinous helmet, in terms of layers, they're having issues. So I think what we can do there, instead of using the gambeson hood, we can actually go and wear the bandana. And the thing is, we need to activate it. And I think that means that we can put it over our head, cover head. There we go. So now, it still is the same. It's still the same. It's not as encumbered as it was before, but... Yeah, that's still frustrating that the, the layering isn't working correctly on that, but what can you do? We have the blunderbuss with us for now. We've got our extra slugs. We've got our quarterstaff slung over our shoulder. So if anything does happen, we'll be kind of ready for it. 
as much as you can be while you're in intense pain and, you know, when you're dead tired. Let's mount up, Sarah. <laughs> looking good, looking good. And we can't close any of these gates, so we're just going to have to uh, mosey on out here to begin with. I'm trying not to trample anything. We can open doors just fine. There we go. We'll just close these up. I'll be... Oh my god, Sarah. Of course, of course. I should have known. I should have known. <laughs> oh my god. Animals, I, I swear. A and now we have a cabin offense. <laughs> <laughs> ah, always leash. Stay. Stay there, Sarah. And here I was, wanting to just close the doors so that everyone would be safe inside. Ah. Well, we're going to have to fix that when we get back. Let's just hope that it's okay for the time being. We mounted up on Sarah. Okay. Let's see if we can get our auto travel to work out okay for us here. That looks like that's the path we're going to go with. Overburdened. It may be painful. I guess because we are injured? Yeah. You know what? It might be safer just to do it like this for now. Uh, because uh, there's lots of fires raging still on the other path. So uh, yeah, we're just going to roam through like this for now. Oh, okay. There's a German Shepherd around here. Not aggressive yet, but enough that it's given us a warning. Yeah, it's just to the north. Okay, we'll keep that in mind. How close are we now? Oh, we still got a ways to go. Just down to the southeast. Let's continue. Okay. All right. And yeah, this is this is it. Oh boy. Okay. Yeah, we really should get some sleep. Huh? Well, that ain't going to be happening right now. No siree. So we are going to dismount. We are going to tie you up there, Sarah. <laughs> Please stay. And we've got a whole heap of harvesting to do here. So the easiest way for us to do that yet again is to turn our additional auto features on and make sure that we are going to be auto foraging from bushes. And I guess that's the thing. We just want bushes. Yeah. Okay. So we've got that saved. So now when we walk by these, we are going to do some harvesting. <laughs> we found some more dinosaur eggs. Of course we have. Okay. So it's going to be a whole heap of this. I'm going to go through... Is it? Oh, it's ground nut. I thought it was an iron nugget because it was the same kind of shape and style. Yeah, but I'm not going to worry about picking anything up right now. We're just going to go through. We're going to harvest as much as we can, and then we'll see what we're left with at the end of it all. Right, so a lot of harvesting there. I don't know if there was a single wild vegetable among all of that. The easiest way for us to deal with all of this is going to be by creating a big old unsorted zone. So stretching from one side of here to the other that should do it and then we just want to create another zone just right next to Sarah here where we can sort everything okay so that's kind of what our stockpiles are looking like at the moment we're going to save those changes and then we're just going to go and sort that out okay that looks like that was everything uh, and it also looked like I just missed uh one bush there so let's see what do we actually have on the space here I mean, looking at that, it's a pretty good harvest, but we are not seeing a single wild vegetable. We're seeing small dinosaur eggs. There's some, I guess, regular sized dinosaur eggs there as well. There's 13 birds eggs. So we could really get the bird farm going well. I, I mean, that would be fantastic. I mean, the buckwheat, I'm definitely excited about. That's probably one of the best things that were found here out of all of this stuff. The mushrooms are also nice. So, yeah, <sighs> not what we wanted. Actually, none of it is what we came out here for. But we can still get it loaded up. Okay, so at this stage, we need to decide what comes next, eh? Hmm, because uh, that's disappointing. If we got nothing from all of that, oh, there, I mean, there were these here. Uh, we, can, we can live without them. There's definitely more herbs around that we can try and harvest. I don't think we can do that while we're on... Yeah, dinosaur back. Let's just see. Have I marked any others at this point? Shrubbery. <laughs> Underbrush all the way over there, huh? I mean, it's not too far of a journey for us to make. If we get what we need, it'd be worth it. Otherwise, it's uh, just more danger. Even so, I think we are going to give that a go. We could have a look at this one first, though. I mean, it's, it's pretty much along the way. 
I think we should be able to move there without any trouble when it comes to using the auto move here. Uh, yeah, we are going to stop. A hulking horror. A hulking horror. Yeah, that's great. It is much faster than us right now. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Tell you what, we are going to go another way. We're not going to go to that one. We've got some woodland whites up to the north. There's a lot more dead out here than we've been used to seeing. Hmm. Okay. Well, <laughs> let's just go around this little spit of trees and try and head to that next patch of shrubbery. All right. And there it all is. There's a lot of it. There is a lot of it. Okay. So, Sarah, we are going to jump off you here and we just need you to chill out there. Oh, we're exhausted now. Yeah, I'm, I am not surprised. I am really not surprised. I'm going to go through this as quickly as possible. And then we're heading back. So many dinosaur eggs. Okay. Yet again, pretty sure there weren't any wild greens, wild vegetables amongst all of that. We can use buckwheat instead, but I'd rather use buckwheat from a harvest because we can, obviously, we can get quite a bit from their seeds. Or rather, if we turn the buckwheat into seeds, then we can get a lot more in the long run. For now, we're going to treat this like we did the other. And there we go. That should be everything. Let's check it out again. Okay. Well, we've got some large dinosaur eggs there, which that could be good or it could be bad. Yeah, we did get some more buckwheat, but no, no wild vegetables. So part of me is thinking that wild vegetables might have changed. And I know I've talked about this before, but maybe they have changed so that we get them from a different source. Because yeah, cattle fodder can be made from oats, buckwheat, barley, I mean, even potatoes. But in the past, the easiest source has been wild vegetables because we could just find them when foraging, but seemingly not. And it might be it's just a seasonal change. So we can't find them in summer. We can only find them in autumn or spring. Even so, I think we're going to try and take as much of this with us as we can. Well, unfortunately, we are going to be leaving some things behind. We've managed to take a lot with us and a lot on Sarah here. I'm mostly focusing on the larger dinosaur eggs and the regular dinosaur eggs, in addition to things like buckwheat and all the rest. But yeah, we're going to have to leave a fair bit here, which is it's, it's disappointing. But what can we do? We are going to be leaving one large egg behind. You know what? I guess we could wield it, couldn't we? Worst case scenario, we could just hiff it at something. Yeah, for now, we are going to be making our way back home. We are dead tired, and this, unfortunately, has led to not much at all. And we are back. And we still need to fix that damn fence, don't we? Yeah, yeah, we do. We do, we do. And we will. <laughs> don't worry, we, we most certainly will. Ah, dear. All right, Sarah. Well, <laughs> welcome back home. Let's go jump off of there for now. We're going to tie you up. Uh, let's just say remove all items from the bag. We're just going to drop them down there. Even more dinosaur eggs. Wonderful. Yeah. So excited about that. So excited. Okay. We are going to take off some of our armor for now. Oh, right. Well, I don't think that those are going to hatch anytime soon. So we should be safe there. Perf perfectly safe. Perfectly safe. Uh, but with that fence, we are not so safe. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to have to have a look at just very quickly trying to put together the wattle woven fence thing. It's literally just sticks, so that isn't so much of an issue. We just need to go and beat up some young trees. And I know that we are in danger of passing out anytime soon, so I am trying to make this as quick as humanly possible. Okay, there we go. I think we have all the resources we need here. We do. Ah, there we go, Hilma. That's a fence. That is a fence. Hot damn. Well, I, I feel like Hilma has earned herself a early rest in saying that. <laughs> These guys out here still do concern me. So I guess it kind of comes back to, with me, do we expend some of that buckwheat now to try and tame some of them? We do have a decent line of buckwheat growing there. Hang on, is that grown buckwheat? No, it's just a cattail. Okay, I think we use what we can for now. 
Yep, I, I, I think we are going to have to put some together. Cattle fodder, that is. Just in case. Oh, so it uses five. Okay, so we can get two. We can get two things of cattle fodder. And that'll be it. The rest we are going to turn into seeds. And we can actually do that right now. All right, that's going to give us four buckwheat plants. And then we'll actually try and get those um, planted before the end of summer, which we are fast approaching, three days away. Oh, boy. So who are we going to use the cattle fodder on down here? Um, buddy, can I get you to just yet yeah, stay in here? Okay, so let us see. Tiny dinosaur. Red and white is tiny. Okay. Oh, actually, you know what? It's going to say that they're all tiny because they are just hatchlings. Uh, okay. So we'll go with what we don't know. So green and... Like green and magenta, they're probably going to be a pentasaurus, right? Because I'm uh, pretty sure that they hatched from the OG lot of eggs. Light red and white, I don't think we've seen that before. So let's try. Let's put the cattle fodder down there. Doesn't want that kind of food. Okay. The bird food? Do you want dog food or cat food? Okay, okay. That might be telling us that this is a carnivore. Because I am pretty sure that we used cattle fodder on our light green magenta friend here, and it worked. So you could be a carnival, and I think there's more than one. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, that's easier. Carnival's actually easier for us to satisfy. We just need to go and get some meat. You. You are brown and white. Okay. Cattle fodder. Let's see. Doesn't want that kind. Okay, dark grey and magenta. Yeah, we've we've tamed a light green. Let's try dark grey. Okay, cattle fodder. Boom, works. Oh my gosh, they're carnivores. That's got to be it, right? That's got to be it. Okay, so you're now on our side. That's great. So that's dark grey. We've got a light green, so we could do green and magenta. Yeah, green and magenta hatchling. You. Let's try cattle fodder. Okay, great. Another pet. Oh boy, um, okay. Do we think that we have another night? They have been in the basement for a long while and they haven't grown up yet. So I think that we still have a little bit more time. Actually, you know what? Let's just, let's do some climbing. Yeah, that's a lot easier. Ha, huh. okay, Samo, keep an eye on them. Oh, you sneaky little bastard. Ah, it's a brown and white one as well. Potentially a carnivore. Okay. I don't like you being on that side. I tell you what, we are going to climb back over this. We slip and fall, of course, of course we do. Okay, so let's activate that chicken cage. We're going to release maple there and we do need to tie maple up. Oh, I'm gonna feel terrible. I'm go that no nothing bad is gonna happen to maple. Nothing bad is gonna happen to maple. <laughs> it's gonna be fine, folks. Maple, please be safe, be well. Samo, keep a close eye on them. We're gonna go have a rest, and then we're gonna go, we're gonna go get some extra meat, and we're gonna make, I guess, dog food? Wet dog food? It's literally just a chunk of meat and some water. Oh, come on. We do need to have wild vegetables for that as well. Oh man, you've gotta be kidding me. Why are wild vegetables so hard to find? So having, uh, having a look at this here, when it has the little arrows, this is a necessary thing, and we can use any of them within this, but, this is, this is more of a problem. I wish I could get plant marrow. That would be fantastic. We would be getting that from plant-based creatures, but we haven't encountered anything like that. I'm now super nervous. We haven't found any wild vegetables. We do have some cuttings, but the wild vegetables that we've got planted here, they are freshly planted. Hang on. Okay, okay, we've got one over here. How many did we get from that? Five. Okay, okay, that's good. We only needed one for the dog food, right? Yes, okay. <laughs> Down to the wire, Hilma. So the other thing that we can think about is that if dog food doesn't work, cat food might work as well. And cat food, just meat, just meat. So I think we might make one of each. The, the cat food is two meat. Okay, oh boy. Uh, let's grab these wild vegetables now. Um, we could just plant these stems right away. Yeah, just so that they're in the ground. Excellent. And there was no more up there, right? No. Okay. We need to sleep. Get rid of the exhaustion. And then we'll worry about hunting. I wish... 
if we had some more spare bandages, it'd be great to bandage up. But I want to see how we heal overnight anyway, so let's just let's just try to sleep, Hilma. Well, hey, look at this. We've recovered. <laughs> Not completely, but we've covered somewhat. So we're gonna make sure that we have a pretty big breakfast. Although it's still dark out. We could actually go to sleep for long. We're still dead tired, and I think that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna have breakfast, go back to sleep, and then worry about going out to get some fresh meat. And here we go, waking up properly. Ah, uh, but we're still dead tired. <laughs> yeah, we have fully recovered though, so that's something. I would love to rest more, but unfortunately we we can't afford to. Annoyingly, I, I did find some wild vegetables. There's four there that we were gonna turn into stems. I should do that soon, but we won't worry about that just yet. I don't think we're gonna need our blunderbuss for this, so we'll be leaving that behind. We're pretty much just gonna use the uh, the iron shod quarterstaff, as we'll be looking for aphids, aphids or anything else like that, <sighs> or crows. At least that one is far away at the moment. Let's hope it bloody stays there. Okay, let's track down some fresh meat. Southwest, giant aphid. Okay, that is what we're looking for. Oh, and we should probably stop harvesting as well. Uh, I'll leave it on for now. All right, that's our aphid. So let's take off running towards it. Come on, let's get a strike. Come on, Hilma. There we go. A little bit of damage. That's it. Okay, and we got our melee back up to five. Okay, so I think, again, we should be able to do a full butcher on it. We can. There is a chihuahua nearby, so let's be wary of that. And we got three chunks of mutant meat. That's potentially three things of dog food, or one dog food and one cat food, which I think is probably what we're going to do so we can figure out what we actually need. Taking down the turkey would be good. Ah, although, of course, the turkey can fly. The chicks, we can we can leave for now. And the chihuahua, we're not gonna we're not gonna hurt that. Oh, the chihuahua's chasing after one of the chicks, huh? Well, kind of. <laughs> it's trying to. Yeah, we do have some big dinosaurs around here though. I feel like that's a little bit too much meat. We are gonna need just a little bit more than what we've got right now though. Okay. There is a crow and a turkey just kinda hanging out here. Uh we might be able to get the turkey. Oh, it's gonna be close. We can get in a few strikes. Hey, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Don't give up yet. Humans got great stamina, but I imagine so too does turkey. Oh man. <sighs> yup. It's gone. Yeah, it's gone. But hey, some good news. There's another giant aphid and it's just over to the west, so probably good that we are clearing them out of here. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right, well, we're still a little out of breath, but I think we should be able to get this thing. There we go, excellent, a nice critical. Okay, slow to a walk. And you know what, we are probably going to go and turn off the auto forage just for now, as it does take up some time. And let's do a butcher. All right, uh, we might as well be taking the sinew as well while we're here. And we've only got two from this one, but that could do. Turkey is now to the south, it could be flying. It isn't, that's a different turkey. We'll leave it alone for now. We'll just start to make our way back up and see if we can get some of the stuff uh, processed. Okay, so the very first thing, we're going to make one of each. So, wet dog food. Use that clean water nearby. And now, wet cat food. Worst case scenario here, we just go and tame a cat, you know? All right. Let's trial these two out. It could be that either of them could work. So, um... Yeah, let's see, eh? Okay, so, it's the ones with the exclamation marks over the heads that we haven't tamed yet. Let's try out wet dog food on you. Doesn't want that kind of food. Cat food? Cat food. Cat food works. Okay. And that's all right. It's just meat. We don't have to worry about the wild vegetables. Or rather, we can just use the wild vegetables to tame the other herbivores that we have amongst them. So the brown and white, we're gonna to need to do one cat food for you, two, we could try the dog food on the brown and white one, see if there's any difference. No, okay, so it's gotta be, gotta be cat food. So how much more do we need? One, two, just three, because the rest are herbivores seemingly. Okay, we could, we could go tame the chihuahua, 
you know what? I, I think we're going to do that. It's just, I feel, I feel bad for the thing. I really do. And we're only going to need, what, four more pieces of, uh, or four more chunks of meat. Okay, Triceratops. Where is this, where is this Chihuahua? We were seeing it for a moment. Okay, it's up to the north now. Okay, where, where are you? Where is this thing going? All right, come on you. All right. Ah, dear. There we go. Just, uh, stick with me. <laughs> oh, boy. How has this thing survived? How? Um, right. Well, we do have a turkey. Oh, there. I see, I see. Let's, uh, draw our stuff and see if we can chase it down. Until it starts to really run, we stand a chance. Yeah, that's, that's, it's, it's gone. It's full on gone. Okay, but we are, we are kind of making this work for us. We just need to find a little bit more food. We could go to the south. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. It's easier traveling across the open field. We can kind of see other creatures. We'll let the Chihuahua stick with us for the time being. Kind of just looking for aphids primarily because they are quite easy for us to hunt. Two green and magenta ceratoposian juveniles. Okay. Ha. Huh. Yeah, so we're definitely going to have some kind of ceratops from the little ones. Not really seeing anything in the way of um, aphids or anything like that. I don't want to go too much further to the south. Purely just because uh, that's hardcore carnivore territory down by the swamp. We don't want to be engaging there. Ha. Ah, turkey. Is that the same one? From earlier? No, it isn't. Ah, oh, man. These turkeys, I swear. Yeah, it's gonna... It's gotta be gone. It's too fast through the underbrush. I know that we would probably do better with our stone sling. It does take a second to wind up, and as much as it might make sense to, we're not gonna be taking out the chicks just because we do want them to actually grow up so that we can get the most out of them in the long term. And saying that we've got like 15 birds eggs back at home where is our chihuahua gone well it's out here somewhere <laughs> i shouldn't have brought it into the woods of this huh all right there you are stick close let's just get out the trees but well, we don't have quite enough yet <laughs> we will we will i wonder could we use we can't use tainted meat can we no <laughs> which makes sense so our um decayed pouncer over here wouldn't be any good it's rotten as well so that is also a no-go. All right, Chihuahua. Welcome. You don't have a name yet. I'm sure we will have one for you before too long, though. Let's um just tie you up here, yeah? We're going to attach a leech, loop a rope, and uh, there we go. You can you can stay here for now. With Samo, guard the fields. Keep them safe. Oh, man. And I just had a thought as well. The herbivores that we have here, if they are the really big kind, they will just trample our fences, which is which is definitely a problem. I think I'm going to have to do a catch and release program again, quite possibly. It's it's either that or we just have a ridiculous amount of leads because otherwise they they will just follow us everywhere, which of course is a bit of a problem. I mean, making the loops of rope that isn't too difficult for us to do with our sinew. So I think if we do if we do end up taming them all. We'll just make sure that we actually tie them to the corners here that, so that they don't go too far. Because they will be they will be useful to us. In actual fact, it'd be better to tie them outside of here. Because if we're going to take them off on big roaming missions together with like a whole caravan of triceratopses, having them out there would be <laughs> a little a little easier for us to, for us to deal with them. Okay, but first and foremost, we do need just a little bit more meat. And you know what works for cat food? Fish. We can use fish as well. So how about we just roam on over towards one of the ponds and, and see if we get lucky. Come on, fish. How are we looking? Well, it's it, it, this is all a really, really deep pond, so that would be quite difficult for us to fish for them. So that's a no-go. Cattails and water. Another pond over there as well. Let's just check out this one first. Ah, oh, there is a Scuttlosaurus around. The Scuttlosauruses were quite easy for us to deal with, right? Where are you? All the way up there. About as fast as us. Okay, we might end up going for you, little one. Let's check out this pond, though. See how that's looking. There's a big old Ed there. Can't exactly fight that. Could be fishing here. We're just not seeing any at the moment. I 
think I want to try and go after the Scuttlesaurus. I'm pretty sure that we are going to have to run after it as well because uh, it has already taken off. It isn't fast though. Okay, could get a little out of breath here. Come on. There we go. This will do it, Hilma. Just a little more. There we go. Okay. And it's just a Triceratops. It's chill. It's chill. It's okay. Let's just catch our breath. Ignore the footsteps. And you, let's see if we can do a full butcher. You are a small creature. Okay, what do we got? Ah, oh, excellent. That's what we like to see. We've got some scraps of meat as well. I'm pretty sure that we can use those to make some food. Good, good. Let's make our way back home. And it's going to be time to make a uh, decent supply of cat food. Okay, so while we do have a fair few wild vegetables as well, remember we need five to tame just one herbivore. So, yeah, these, these two that are currently untamed, I'm, I don't know what we're going to be able to do for them. Uh, it's actually three. Yeah, so we've got three of each. Right, okay, you're a, a carnivore. We'll not give you the cat food because we've left it inside. Oh, right. Oh, and there was you as well, right? Yep, brown and white. Okay, let's see. There we go. You're going to follow me and you are going to follow me all the way down here. Thank you, little one. Come on. Come on now. Nearly there. Okay. I need all the rest of you to follow me down here, please. I do, I do not want those other ones to get away. Come on. I think we can just swap positions. That doesn't, doesn't really help. Come on, away from the gate. Thank you. Closed. There we go. Got there in the end. So that's green and magenta. Dark grey, dark grey. Okay, another brown and white down there. There we go. And over here. There we go. And then finally, the last light red and white. Okay, so they definitely eat meat. We don't know what they are, but they are now friendly towards us. So that's some, that's some great bloody news. These ones here, we're going to let them go. I think that's the best thing that we can do with them, is just is just free them. We'll just let them over the fence, because um, they'll still be around, you know, if we really need a whole heap of meat. We, we can sort that out, can't we? We do have the chicken cage on us still, so we're just going to have to try and capture them. Okay, we've got the first one, and then just probably climb over, and then release. And they will take off away from here. Well, I hope so. Let's see if we can catch you from here. Well, on top of the fence, there we go, okay. Release you over there. Because I have Yeah, we've got a dark grey, light green and magenta as well. Yeah, so we got we got the whole the whole lot. That's the last one. Release you down here. Be free, little one. Be free. <laughs> Roam away. Okay, and now there's all those birds' eggs inside. <laughs> Not only that. Not only that. But there's all the other dinosaur eggs that we brought back. Yep. So, I did not forget about them. Do not worry, I did not forget. What we are going to do with this lot here is we are going to hatch all of the dinosaur eggs downstairs. I feel like that's going to be the best, the best call that we can make for those ones. As for the birds, we are going to hatch them out where the other ones are. 13 bird eggs. Yeah, I think we're starting to hit that critical mass. And there are all of our bird eggs. None of them are rotten yet. I actually, that's a, that's a lie. There are some that are rotten. Actually, the ones that are in the top are all rotten. So they're going to be hatching anytime soon. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, this isn't exactly what I was originally intending to do with him this week, but it's turned out to be bloody exciting all the same. I cannot wait to see what these dinosaurs are going to be because we know for a fact now we have a carnivorous dinosaur. I mean, they were eating cat food, so they could just be tiny things that eat meat. But they could be something big. They could be. Well, I suppose we'll see, won't we? At least all of these ones that are here now, they're all tame. They're all friendly towards us. <sighs> and now I just need to sprinkle those other dinosaur eggs down below. And there are oh so many of these. And there we go. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah, it could be a problem, couldn't it? We, we do have other patchlings down here already. Yep, they're just kind of scooting about. I should really free you as well, shouldn't we? I'll leave you down here for now. <laughs> That's a problem for later. Yeah, sure. <laughs> well, 
Hilma, there are two days of summer left. We have a little bit of a harvest to do here in the field. But you are now officially a full-fledged donor wrangler. Another weird episode for us, but that's what one should expect here in the woods. I'd like to thank you all once again for joining me. If you enjoyed today's episode, please consider leaving a comment or a like to let me know if you enjoyed the show. For now, I have been Rykon. You have all been awesome. And until next time, stay tuned. And finally, I'd like to extend a great big thank you to the Legion on Patreon, who continue to make content like Cataclysm possible.